What is going on everybody? <laughs> if you watched my last video of my seven days straight on call, I did get called in on Sunday night and early on into Monday morning. It is now Monday morning of that same day that I got called in. So I went in about midnight, finished around 1.45 or so. I looked terrible and now I shaved, I showered, have a fresh haircut from the weekend. Just slept in this morning. Now I'm headed to clinic because that is the rotation I am on all week. And if you remember from one of my prior videos, when you're on clinic, you have to do the tumor board at the end of the week on Thursday. So let's hope it goes a little better this week. But anyways, about to start my week here now. I got about five hours of sleep or so and uh, we're back at it. So sorry I look terrible. I look a little better than I did last night but still terrible. We'll see how this week goes. So a lot of people ask me kind of what I do on my post-call days. And the short answer is we don't really get a post-call day per se. It depends on where you're actually on call. So when I cover the three hospitals, which we call the West Side, is you're covering three main hospitals in Manhattan. When you're on the east side, you're only covering the main hospital. So for my west side call, we don't get a day off per se, or not per se, we don't get a day off after we finish our seven day stretch. We just go straight into whatever rotation we start on Monday, and we change rotations every single week. So for instance, I finished my call this morning, as you saw in my prior video, and I got home around 2.30 or 3, went to bed, and woke up this morning. I had the morning off and then I went into the clinic. Because in clinic, you don't start until 12 or 1.30, depending on what patients are scheduled. So I actually started at 1.30 p.m. today, which means I had the morning off, which honestly, if I didn't have the morning off after coming in and getting home at 3 a.m. after that emergency I took overnight, I would have been exhausted this morning having only two hours of sleep at the end of a seven day straight call shift. So as you can see, the post-call days or post-call rotations are just as important as call is because you don't want to get stuck on a hard rotation coming right off of seven days straight. And I know I'm rambling right now, but so many people ask me what I do on my post-call days, so I thought I would share it with you. For starters, the first thing I did this morning, I, again, got home about 2.30, went to bed at three-ish, whatever the heck, I went to bed. I woke up at eight. I tried to wake up at seven, failed miserably because I have to get so much work done. Because even though I do this whole fellowship thing, I also, as you know, I have this whole YouTube, social media thing going on. So I have to keep up with that, keep up with advertisers, sponsors, collaborations. I have to keep up with my filming, editing. And even though I stay up all night and spend seven days on call, I still have to keep up with this stuff because that's just what I do. And also before we go any further, my orchid plant, I called it Orca on the last video, but my orchid plant is still dead. I still put an ice cube in it every Saturday, so hopefully it'll revive soon. Anyway, switching gears here. So what I did, I woke up at about 8 a.m. this morning. I was still pretty exhausted. Uh, you almost feel like you're hungover after seven days. And this was honestly the hardest week I've had because I was up late Monday night till almost midnight when I got called in for a procedure. I went in overnight until 3 or 4 a.m. on Tuesday night, so two nights back to back and then had a tough week, almost made it through the weekend and got called in again. So that's three times that I got called in this week, which is a record for me. Usually only get called in once, maybe twice, but I guess I have bad luck. So first thing I did, I woke up this morning, I just had a cup of coffee, relaxed for a minute, and I went immediately to my emails because I had to catch up on so many emails from this week because as you can imagine, I tend to kind of put that stuff off during these call blocks because you don't really have time for any extracurricular activities. So as you can imagine, I have no time to do any of my business side of things while I'm working all those days on call. So I woke up this morning, started answering emails to advertisers, following up on emails that I've been putting out for a week, responding to job offers because I had some friends reach out about a couple job offers and I had to send out those emails, get my resume all nice and tidy. And then I had to get a video ready because I was putting advertisement on a video. I had to get that ready, send it in to get pre-approved so that I could put it in one of my videos. 
Then I also had to edit another video. This is all after seven days straight of call, by the way. And then I had to edit another video, send it off to new editors that I'm trying to kind of feel out. And uh, I did all of that before I went to work at 12.30. So pretty busy day. Then I saw patients in clinic today. Wasn't too bad, probably like honestly four patients in like three hours, which wasn't bad. One patient was late and kept me there a lot longer than I wanted to be. And then on the way home, of course, I picked myself up a little present. Let me get it real quick. You guys are gonna think I'm like alcoholics or something, but. Maybe it's growing up in the South. Maybe it's just because I was a bartender and I love cocktails, but I picked up a new bottle of bourbon because I earned it. This was like my gift to myself for completing the seven days straight of call. So anyways, it is 5.50 p.m. right now. I am, no joke, going to take a shower right now, make some dinner. Wifey made some dinner for me. I'm going to plop on that couch over there and probably not move until about 9 p.m. until I go to sleep. And my favorite part of finishing up my call week is literally going to bed early and just sleeping soundly with the air conditioner on and just relaxing. So that is pretty much it. I didn't want to vlog this because honestly I was too tired today to even like try to think of something creative on how to vlog a day in my post-call life. Maybe I will later. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an effort next post-call, or maybe not the next one, one of these post-call shifts, I'm going to do a video and just make it like a fancy vlog like I usually do, but I honestly, between all the emails I had to write this morning and this tough, tough week, I just didn't have the creative effort in me. So I'm gonna relax this time. Sorry for the rambling. This is what I do on my day off. I'm gonna sit right here on the couch, watch some YouTube, relax, maybe have a cocktail, wait for Andreana to come home, and just enjoy my Monday night. So as always, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I'll see you all on the next video.